All right, good morning, everybody. Okay, I'm back. I did run this um, 69 through its paces, 69 XT to be exact, the power color. And um, I have to say, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I um, ran it with um, Crisis Remastered version. I ran it up against the uh, 3080, the um, Asus Rogue Strix that I have. And... In the game, I literally, by eye, really couldn't tell much of a difference. Um, wow. I mean, the 3080 was taking advantage of DLSS as well as ray tracing. Um, and to be honest with you, to get the frames up, I did turn the ray tracing off for the video clip that you're going to see because it, it kind of chopped it down and I wanted to get some numbers to see if I could get the numbers as close to what they were with this XT bar. I still couldn't. It, it It's faster. It is definitely faster. I would have to say it's as fast as a 3090, if not faster. Um... So anybody that is into AMD that's going to go out and they're looking to get the best of the best, I'm not saying, I mean, I'm not saying that you have to get the power color. There, is, there are other cheaper, less expensive um, 69 XTs that probably perform just as well. But the ultimate version here is the one that set the uh, world record. I guess it was um, OGS out of uh, Greece. Guy, if you, if you go on... Um, the benchmark placed us uh, websites he, he, he's number one in every every benchmark there is i mean i just think he knows how to uh get these things cooled down but as far as temperatures again this ran really really cool and uh, a lot's to do a lot of it is to do a lot to do a lot a lot of it is to do with it has a pretty aggressive fan curve. We have a 100, a 100, and a 90 in the middle. We have three 8-pin plugs on it, um, as well as it has a BIOS mode where you can go into overclock and silent. When I, literally, when I was sitting down and the fans kicked on, you can see how this front of the 3080 is very it, it's closed up a lot compared to to this so most of the you know what air that gets pushed out does come out through these small events and through the back and it doesn't run hot i'm not saying it runs hot but this does run cooler because we do have a wide open you can see how wide open that is i could feel the air it's probably a foot and a half away from my shoulder. I could feel the air blowing out up against my arm. I can't with the 3080 even when it's cranked. Um, using this, anybody that does get this card, it's huge. It's thick. And you will need this support bracket, bar, whatever, stand no matter what you do because even with oh well that's going to mess my mic up even with the 3080 has a really great system the way it worked out they have a they have a, a bar if you want to call it that completely goes around the whole gpu that connects to this to the board and this really is only just this back, this little back plate here is connected to the board on here. So there's not a lot in here that supports it. So it did sag. It, it, it was pulling on my board. So I ended up putting this on and it kind of takes away from the looks of it. I really think they could have done something different. But basically you get the idea, however you want to put it, find a spot. It has a little 3M tape on the bottom of it. And then there's another one that you can use if you want to add this on top of the other piece. It looks similar to this. 
basically you remove this little footing down here and you attach it onto the other plastic bracket and it makes this into an extension kind of but that's just a little accessory that comes with it but I have to say this video card definitely did impress me I mean if I, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to it I'm gonna put it up for sale but I like my Nvidia stuff but if I was an AMD person I would definitely be impressed as far as the build quality of this it, it's really really good um, there's a metal back plate there's a metal frame around here but it appears that in the center it's two pieces and there's some little screws right here and that looks like where you would unscrew it and you pull out the plastic centerpiece probably if you wanted to change fans or even take it apart to re um, apply thermal paste to it a lot of times when you get these from the factory and you open them up the thermal paste they use on them really isn't the best stuff and by reapplying thermal paste you, you can get a better you can get better contact and better cooling I had to step away for a second but that pretty much covers it you'll see in the videos the um, the quality is almost spot on with the Nvidia so um, AMD is going to be coming out with um, that FX super resolution technology which is going to be basically their ray tracing their cure to ray tracing and um, so far it, it, it really in all tests it, it's really um, it's really pulling through now I don't know if anybody got a chance to watch the um, Computex the Dr. Lou um, Sue Lou whatever her name is um, came out and she did her uh, her thing and she 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 took the stage it's pretty exciting to see what AMD is doing with their the way they're triple stacking their, their new um, AMD CPUs that are coming out well the old ones but their architecture is going to be changing on them it's going to be a copper to copper bond um, it's given 12 15 percent better performance and if you really 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 want to get technical on this and you want to check out some great videos on it Steve over at gamers Nexus he knocks it out of the pack I mean I, I'm I, I can't I can't even begin to to um, get there you know th this guy is like he makes Jay and I mean they're, they're all great guys everybody's got their own talent and um, Steve is very very technical he's so technical to the point where even experts can't understand what he's saying sometimes and what are you gonna do but if you really pay attention and listen but anyways YouTube Computex 2021 it is worth the watch if anything you can jump over to the the, the um, presentations where they talk about the AMD chip the AMD GPU NVIDIA's Intel I barely could even wow I couldn't even sit down through the whole thing and watch it it was a nightmare I'm sorry Intel uh, it's it just wasn't a good year for you um, so the way the AMD chip is is the way they're going to be putting a 12 and 16 core chip is going to end up with like 192 megabytes of cache which is insane um, that is going to give you the overhead for improvement especially in games and probably um, maybe even some other type of graphic stuff okay and speaking of graphics I ran this through its paces with Final Cut 
shot cut video editing um open shot open shot with blender in it and inkscape going um it it handled it it did handle it i think the nvidia was smoother um and running some streaming processes while i was doing that i, I found that the nvidia still um holds the uh title i would have to say they they're still right there with having the they definitely specialize more in streaming um, and probably even video editing. Now, video editing isn't a big deal when it comes to GPUs as much as CPU. And the, the most important thing is definitely CPU. The more powerful the CPU, the better your video editing is. But I think Final Cut really relies more on... Um, GPU. It's probably the only video editing program that there is that does. But um, RAM and CPU is pretty much all of where um, video editing. And that's why I'm excited because I do a lot of video editing. I've been learning it anyways. And I, I'm hoping that this new architecture that AMD is coming out with, with their extra their extra cash and um, architecture technology is going to be able to help me get better and faster video editing because I, sometimes it could take to do a 30 minute video between cutting and sound and um, transitions effects it, it, it can take 30 minutes can take you eight hours to do and if you're really, really a professional, it could take two, three days to do, to get a good 30 minute video. Um, I'm really not that good. <laughs> but I'm getting there, I'm learning, I'm trying. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna give this card a all day long thumbs up. If you are an AMD fan, you can't go wrong. Is the price? A lot, yes. It's way, way overpriced if you want to wait for it to come down because I see it coming down in the future, especially with the announcement of the 3070, 3080 Ti or Ti coming out with the, um, the limitations they're putting on it for miners. It might free up the market a little bit more for gamers, which would be a great thing. Um, how I feel about the TIs and I don't know really what NVIDIA was thinking about doing this. Maybe thinking that they could throw some more stuff out. I think they would have been better off just using them chiplets to produce more of what they have and put mining limitations on it if that's what they were planning on doing. But 3070 Ti is going to be something that sits in between a regular 3070 and a 3080. Um, the 3080 Ti is going to sit between the 3080 and the 3090. You're using the same die as that's on as what is on the 3090, but fewer CUDA cores and half the half the uh, RAM. You know, you're going from 24 to 12. So is there going to be an improvement? Yeah, probably. Maybe I think about 10, 12 percent. Um, nothing that you couldn't get with a little overclocking and tweaking. But I guess it's better to see some movement than no movement. So I, I guess I can't take that completely away from them. They're trying. And... Um, yeah, I just, you know, I had a kind of a good time. This was definitely a learning experience. I enjoyed the Computex um, um, videos that I watched. 95% of it was about the AI technology going into, into, um, car, into cars. That's basically all they spoke about 
it's you know all Thailand Taiwan um, technology um, so I mean they're really pushing into that they're talking about autonomous cars and planes and you know I don't know about I don't know how I feel about an 18-wheeler flying by me with nobody driving it mm, I don't know about that but anyways all right I hope you enjoyed this video I really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up a like even a subscribe um, us reviewers whether beginners or whether we've been around a while we do work hard to get these out to you I don't get paid for this you know I'd appreciate it if I got I, I, I get quite a few views not as many likes maybe you don't like me whatever um, hope I didn't do nothing to insult you but you know these people do work hard and I normally you know I always give a like when I go on I I, I, I can appreciate the, the time and the effort put into what it takes for these people to gather this information um, sit down and take the time out of their day to to do it to edit it and to get it out to people so um, until you tried it don't knock it but I'm gonna have to wrap it up it's getting a little bit late in the day already and I'm hoping to have this video out within a few days so everybody stay safe that virus is still out there um, seems to be getting better we're getting there looks like we're getting past it thank goodness so everybody you stay safe take care and we'll see you on the next video peace